the hip again, shooting up to Pittsburgh. They got a bunch of snow this week and decided they were sending groomers out again. So that's pretty awesome. A group of us are going up. It is now Thursday, the, let's say 20th, 21st, somewhere around there. What is, what is today? I don't know. I forgot the date, but yeah, it's Thursday. Uh, we're going up to Ryan's camp tonight, so that way we have a head start in the morning so we don't have to get up at like 4 a.m. to try and beat some of the other traffic. But anyway, tomorrow, Friday, we're going to go try and get on trail. I've got the boost all back together in terms of the rear skid and that broken stuff. I uh, played with some clutching settings, changed some stuff around there, brand new 70-pitch chain, changed my gearing around again. Other than that, I'm, I expect all that stuff to be fine. RPM might be a little low, might be a little high, whatever, we're going to find out. But... I, uh, I really just want to get a nice ride in with nothing breaking and going wrong. So like cross my fingers, knock on wood that we get a nice decent ride where shit goes the way it should, right? Oh, it is cold. It's frigid out here. There's no one else here at this East Inlet parking lot on Route 3, which is really weird. It's 9.30 on a Friday. So, well, can't complain about that. To a very good start, we got a skidoo with a frozen uh, front track shock, which happens. Uh-oh, my boards won't go up. Too much stuff. I got the cold gloves going. Where do we go across, Yeah, right there. But they got a broken shock or something. I see that. So weird. Skidoo problems. Alrighty. Boy, what a nice day. I mean, they're gonna be hosed back there with snow dust, but what a nice day right now. Junction ahead. Well, can't go that way, don't matter. Oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna try to get the boys down to uh, Diamond Ridge. I don't have too awful much to go over here in the beginning of the ride. We got that shock shaft all back together, a couple fresh bolts in there, new, brand new 70 pitch chain with the gearing I've been running forever that I like. I think I know how to get us down to Diamond Ridge. I'm pretty confident I know where it is on my little map there, so. Maybe this time I'll be smart enough to drop a pin at it. Change the primary spring, put a fresh one in the secondary. And that's kind of it. Mostly just a pretty drastic primary spring change. Boy, these trails are really good. They have an awesome base under this nice, like, fresh snow. Cooling is great. Carbide bite is awesome. This is beautiful. I'd say the high gear linkage did not affect any of the playfulness of the assault, which is what a lot of people are asking about. Yes, yeah, so this all definitely has been groomed since last time we were up here literally pretty much exactly a week ago it was saturday but you know six days whatever 
they just got this much fresh since then too since the grooming that's so cool everyone thought the season was over a couple two three days left wow the wind is pretty gnarly though i will say that the headwind out here Whew. <laughs> what the f is he doing that close? <laughs> oh, what a guy. Wow, big old snow drifties, dude. Holy pecker. <laughs> Holy sh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah they got a lot to work with if they get out tonight man it's gonna be nice for the weekend i'm still surprised that is <laughs> I'm still surprised before I got interrupted that that inlet parking lot is dead empty. That's crazy. Well, that's not true. There were two other trucks and trailers right, right next door at the little adjacent lot. But still, I would have thought for sure everyone and their brother would have been up here already. Make sure we got everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still back there, yep. windy but man look at this I'm glad we got more snow and we're able to get out here again because this is awesome. Look at this. What's up, buddy? You got four, buddy boy. 
Maybe five? Is there five? No, four. Right? No. No, there's five. Math is hard. Boy, this is fast right here. Holy shit. <laughs> oh boy, right in the guard, big time. It's all right. What they're there for? The wind is a little much, but that ain't nothing I can do. Nothing I can control. Ain't nothing I can do about that. back to the truck because the old skidoo with the front track shock is not releasing didn't think it would i've never seen him come down but you never know wow. i'm beating a dead horse but tomorrow is going to be so good once they go out and groom all this stuff up tonight it's going to be wild made it through here and blew all the snow drifts down look at that look at the snow in here though Whew. nice rig nice rig okay whoa, 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 whoa. look at him go Meow. <laughs> dude was hot dogging Man, this thing is so much fun. What a good machine. We are pushing snow all day though, mile per gallon it ain't gonna not be there. Ain't gonna not be there. Boy, have you ever you ever stumble over your own words and be like, man, what that what's wrong with me? Uh-oh. Big uh-oh. Well, I haven't heard them. I figure I better start pecking back. Try and find them. Maybe a belt. Maybe an accident. I hope not. But you never know. Oh my god, he blew one bad. Alright, just a belt. That ain't bad. Oh, you blew one good. Holy shit. Look at this. Is that normal? Little pieces? You didn't does it vibrating at all? No, and not until it blew. Wow. Yapers. Peel that right off of there. Put that over there. Yeah, these are gonna need a cleaning now, Tanner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many pieces. Well, grab that chunk. Oh, I could probably get in there. Ow! <laughs> Why does this thing get so hot? Meow, meow, meow. There they go. Broken belt fixed and uh, continuing on our little trek back to the truck. 
by fixed I mean the new belt's on it's still full of fibers and stuff in there luckily there weren't any behind the primary that we could see but boy that 571 went kaboom sled works and it's all together like this man it's so good so much fun so far the ride today on this thing as a you know kind of makes the headaches go away it kind of allows you to forget the last few kind of not so great rides you kind of get to appreciate it again which is really nice is what I was hoping for still only two trucks there so I'm guessing not gonna be much at the other lot either open that up a little bit or try to yep still just okay still it's friday where is everybody what Gloves are cold. Ooh. Skidoo boys loaded up. They're headed back early. They got a stuck truck. Truck stuck in a camp driveway. They're going to sort that out and the shock and all that. Boost brothers are at it again. Wow. <laughs> this is not pro steer snow. They're a little lacking in this stuff, but that's all right. It hasn't been very often lately we get to ride in snow like this. There's not really a whole lot for me to talk about this ride. Everything's working good, knock on wood. Just kind of cruising along out here, putting some miles on. Great bluebird day. I think this left intersection here, this is closed. That doesn't count. Next trip after this, I don't know. Hopefully something up here, maybe Island Pond, if everywhere gets this projected snow coming in tomorrow night. But hopefully I can get some test time again next week or just more riding all in all. After that, the 862 and this have a date with the dyno coming up. Can't really talk about that too much more. And then after that, April 19th and 20th, be at the Saddleback Mountain Hill Climb. Gonna give this thing and the 862 a run. Nice little send off for the season, but hopefully we get some more riding in between then and now. Or now and then, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Man, I do love this sled though, and it works and it's all together. Boy, it sure is good. Am I seeing snow dust? Is that coming off the trees or is there someone we're catching up to? I think it's off the trees. Nope, we are catching someone. Hello, friends. We'll see what this way is. I don't know if I've ever been this way, so we'll see what this is like for a bit. A little chopped up, but not too bad. A lot of bit chopped up, actually. Kind of fun, though. This section's awesome. This is cool. A little bit tighter, a little more chop in it. Got a pretty good little base in here. There's a few ski ruts here and there, but all in all, it's really nice in here. This is just headed north, I think, towards the Canadian border. This is a 
pretty cool little trail. This is an awesome trail, this is cool. I love this little bit of chalk that's in here. What is that? The wizard! Low fuel light, but we've only been 70. So even if we get eight miles a gallon, let us see how yeah, we might want to flip around a little bit here. The next little spot I find, I'll probably pull over and uh, suggest a little turnaround. So I'm at low fuel. How are you at 20%? What the f um, we've done 70 miles. It was 56 when we left the truck. So if we get eight miles a gallon, we can get about 85 miles, give or take. We probably got about eight to 10 to get back. So if we're playing it smart and safe, we probably ought to try to turn around here in the next mile or two. So if I see a good spot, we'll flip around. This is a cool trail. We're gonna try to turn around up here somewhere. You see the nice little spot to turn around. Can't find one. There's gotta be something soon. Ah, here we go. This is what I've been hoping for. A nice, simple ride. Get out, enjoy the snow and the sun. And the machine working good. Just, whew, finally. You watch, I'll probably run out of fuel. <sighs> yeah, nice little sigh of relief just getting to enjoy this right here. Low fuel pressure? <laughs> That's not good. 76 miles. Yep. Dang, dude. I mean, we're turning snow, and I've been out front just giving her the beans all day, but man, I didn't think it'd be that low. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, uh, I ran out of fuel a little bit. It tripped the low fuel pressure light, yeah. Yep. Well, I'm gonna go real nice and easy. <laughs> oh boy, we are very low. Dang. <laughs> Not good. I was just talking, I was like, man, it's nice to get a day without anything going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're not incredibly far. <laughs> Man, I haven't been towed from running out of fuel since that 2003 Rev. <laughs> of course, I was just talking about how good it's been all day. We had a nice day without anything going on, and there we are, blah, 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 out of fuel.
these awesome dudes gave us some fuel at an intersection. All right, we did make it back, drove the sled back. These awesome guys at an intersection with a Lynx and a fuel caddy gave us some fuel, was able to pour about a gallon in, which was enough to get back the last like four miles. 78 miles and the thing's out of fuel. Crazy. Other than running it out of fuel, it was pretty good, pretty good ride. Solid ride, no issues. Other than the fuel, suspension was good. We didn't break any bolts, we didn't break a belt, we didn't break a chain. Can't ask for much more. Man, was it good up there. I really didn't have a lot to talk about during the actual ride, so that footage may be a little bit boring, but it was pretty hard on the throttle and pretty heavy all day, so maybe it came out good. I haven't got a chance to look at it yet, I don't know. But if it is a little boring, apologies for that, but I just didn't really have much to talk about. It was just a good day and I finally got to kind of just enjoy the ride for once and nothing really went wrong. I didn't have to look at anything or think about stuff. I was just able to kindly, kind, kindly, just able to uh, just ride along until I ran out of fuel. That's the way it goes, you know, pushing snow all day and getting after it like we were. Tyler and I went out for a little loop. He was really low too, so we were both kind of once we hooked the strap up, we were kind of like, oh boy, I hope we both make it. But luckily we ran into those guys at that intersection that were nice enough to lend me or give me a little bit of fuel and let me fill up and make it back to the truck on that extra little gallon there. So again, didn't get a name, tried to pay the guy, didn't want any money, but thank you again for lending me some fuel and getting me back to the truck there. So not a bad day all in all, you know? Yeah.